Alright. I need the bus to repair the pump if I can. Okay. As you can see now, nothing attached to the pump. We've got the fuel line going straight into the carburetor. And so I will take off the fuel pump. Okay, to get to the back bolt there, I took off the distributor cap. And previously, we had taken off the nut here and loosened one back there and had to lift the whole carburetor up to pull it out. Let's we'll see how this works without the distributor cap in the way. when it's cranked and the bus is running I'm not getting any suction out of either and those are pretty bomb just backing the nut off just enough to be able to lift the carburetor I don't want to have to put this nut back on that's loose section. Plunge it all the way down and run off. Okay. Working pretty good. The one that we replaced was working pretty good as well, but not nearly as good as the new one. We've got our gasket that's on here. The flange. And everything seems to be in order. Right out. I'll measure it now. Okay, so I took it inside, found a measuring tape, and measured it. And it is 95 millimeters long. And if you notice on the tip there, I went on Mid America Motor Works and looked at the three kinds they had, and their short one is supposed to be 100. So if you can see, it's probably hard to see it, but that's all worn out. So flange, I guess, around the edge there, and obviously that did wear out. Even if it's the strongest steel, it's not too strong to be worn out. I'm going to go up to the import place real quick and see if I can get another one. And I'm assuming since that's not too much worn off, it's probably about 5 millimeters. so I'll go with what they call the short push rod for 100 millimeters, and we'll see if that fixes the problem. That 5 millimeters is probably what I'm missing. Okay, so I went and got the new push rod, and you can see there's supposed to be a tip on the end of it. All in mind. Put it all back together and see how she runs. As per the idiot guide, I'm wearing my <coughs> safety bandana to keep my hair out. Because I've got to kind of get my head up in here and look in this hole to see where to place that pin. And <coughs> once I got the uh, flange in there over the top, you can see there's a little bit of the rod sticking out. I'll just go ahead and put the pump back on. We wrap the fuel lines back to the way they were supposed to be. There we go. Okay, let's check her out. Don't forget to put this back on otherwise. Okay, while the motor is running, I'm going to go ahead and stick my finger on there and figure out which one's good. This one's supposed to be sucking in on top. That one's blowing out on bottom. This is my three pins on top. Alright, got it all hooked up. I had to choose where to put clamps because I added the fuel filter which wasn't there but it has a graduated mail on both ends so plus it's also sucking and not blowing I figured it'd go without the clamps there but everybody else is back in order bolted down 
ready to fire it up. You guys are checking out my other topic, my uh, muffler exhaust situation. Still running strong after a thousand miles. A little bit of hard work and uh, patience, and I found the problem.